Hi, I've received a question from Lara regarding the Amtec B1450 interchangeable hole punch and eyelet plier. Um, I can break the question down into two parts. One was how to use it and the other one was could you use it with a washer when uh, Lara's uh, putting the eyelets on some fabric. So I'll break it down into uh, the two areas. There's the basic tool and screwed into the handle you've got the replacement uh, dies, these are the punch dies and also in the last two slots is a brass anvil and there's the die that suits the eyelets. So in one side of the tool lightly screw in that size, it's actually the 5 mil punch. On the other thread screw in the anvil and if you look there, there's the anvil as the die comes down, the punch die comes down you can see it meets the anvil Okay, so that gives you a solid base to crimp on. I don't have any fabric to hand, but I'm actually using this uh, quite thin material. It's polyester fabric on a tool roll. And basically, to use the product, I'm just going to crimp on the fabric. Always give it a little bit of a, a waggle left and right. And you can see we've punched a lovely hole there. Okay, I now need to unscrew the punch and the anvil and replace it with the two parts of the eyelet forming set. So it doesn't matter which side you put it in, um, just screw them in. One's got a little uh, like nib or a little radius on it, the other one's got a hollow. Okay, so basically you select a rivet, or eyelet sorry, uh, there's the eyelet, I've put it in the hole there. The part with the little uh, protruding piece on it goes in the open end of the rivet to locate it. The top half goes on the top of the die, squeeze. There it's formed the crimp, as you can see on these other ones I've done. I wasn't quite sure of the washer uh, that Lara was talking about, but if the material was a bit thinner, I would imagine providing your washer is thin enough and goes over this five millimeter you could put the eyelet through then your washer and then crimp it in the same way um, i trust that's of assistance if not please go to amtechdiy.com and i'll be pleased to receive any other questions